Hayward. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Okay, here's a defense for the away team. And when you talk about third base, you talk about a step and a dive. But you better have something to go with it when you get to your knees. And that's what this guy has, an absolute howitzer. So striding in, Geronimo Murillo. Here's a high pop-up. Mosley is calling for it. And that's the second out of the inning. Batting seven. Left fielder, Gerard Pendergast. Digging in, Jared Pendergast. Now the three and two pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. But a run scores in the inning and that'll have to be good enough as this solo home run knocks things up. We've played two all even at one apiece. Juan Lopez is on and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number 19 Juan Lopez. Now at the plate Adrian Arias. The 2 1 home. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to 2 and 2 now. And that misses, so it's a full count, 3 and 2. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck. And you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. The 3 2 pitch is swung on and missed strike three. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat that he pushed the count to 3 and 2 and made the pitcher work, but I think he'd like to have that 3 2 pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Stepping in now, John Potter lofted in the air out toward right center. Encarnacion is in pursuit, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Digging in for his second at bat, Stuart Lawson. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. A 1 1. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Very weakly on the ground. That's a foul ball. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Pendergast on the move. And that ends the inning. You're Dan Halter gets the call now from the bullpen to pitch in relief. South. Number 10, Dan Halter. Stepping up now, Diego Velasmo. The 1 1 home. Taken, hey. strike two. Halter, just a 19 year old, he throws a four seam fastball, a two seamer, a curve, and a slider. The 1 2. Is looked at for ball number two.
the 2 2 one more time. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Full count still. The next three two. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Wow, not sure what the pitcher was thinking. Serving up a fastball right over the heart of the plate. His eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing, putting himself in the scoring position to start off the inning. Into the box now, Pete Encarnacion. Now a bunt attempt here. Mosley has it. Throw on to first, so the sacrifice is successful. Well, when you're trying to move a guy up to third with a bunt, that's exactly how you want to do it. Make the third baseman field the ball. That way, his only play is to first. That was very well executed. In now, Leroy Faust. And it's one and two. Ball, two straight. Popped him up. Mosley in foul ground. And this will land foul. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. That strikeout changes the whole now complexion of the inning. He was definitely pitching for it with a runner on third and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Standing in now, Billy Sheldon tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. You pull a fastball like that, you got to tell yourself to slow it down a little bit, play more gap to gap, and keep that front shoulder square pointed towards the pitcher. That'll keep everything on plane. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Potter is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. On now to the top of inning number four, all tied at one and one. Tommy Lopez is ready and he'll take the ball from the manager. At the plate, Nelson Lopez. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. To two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. I know he wants that pitch back. He put good wood on that ball. But let's give credit to the pitcher right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Got him a little bit out in front. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Well, it's always daunting to know that you've got to deal with the three, four, five hitters to start out an inning, but even more so when the three hitter starts it out with a double. Yeah, he's going to have to start making some good pitches to get out of this thing. Job number one is to get the next guy, and ideally, you keep him from advancing the runner to third with less than two outs. Stepping in now, Alex Biggs. Swing and a little tapper, but it gets fouled. Hot shot down the line. 
And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. Throw into second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Back-to-back -back doubles now, and that's a great way to get an inning going. The leadoff man shows him how it's done, and he comes right behind him following suit. Lacing a double of his own could be a big inning if this continues. Into the box, Napoleon Stevens, a little bouncer. That winds up foul for the second strike. Bounce towards the mound. And a good throw gets him one gun. Third baseman, number 24. Ray. Stepping in, Greg Mosley. He reached on a single in his first try. The 1-1 is taken for ball two. Count is two and one. And that one stayed up a little high. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You could see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. Biggs stands at third with one gun in the inning. Now tried to check his swing there as this is hit for the left side. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Martin Duran. So striding forward now, Martin Duran. He singled his last time up. The 1-1. One, one. Line to the right side. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Some success with two away, and the top of the fourth is still alive. Now batting, the shortstop, Tyler Hayward. Now at the plate, Tyler Hayward. A runner on first with two away. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Now a throw over to first, and the runner will get back standing. And another throw over, and the runner back. Two out with the man at first. Once more, a throw over, being especially careful here. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. There's ball four. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Adrian Area. Digging in, Adrian Arias. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Two men are on with two men out. Oh, and that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Now the 2 1 pitch. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. And oh, they say he beat the throw safe at third. So now two men in scoring position. Full count now.
three two pitch. Now look out as this is whistled foul off to the right side. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. How about it? Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, John Potter, eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. He's ready, here's the 0-2 pitch. And that one just missed outside. Two out, bases loaded. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And boy, he didn't quite know what to do on that one, but he's lucky to barely get back at first. Ready with the two and two. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The South Division stars from the Southern League lead it three to one. You're Fernando Carrasco will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Number 24, Fernando Carrasco. Digging in now, Vernon Castro comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Here now the 2 2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Now the three and two pitch. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Coming to the plate now Tim Fold. The one one home. He's in there for strike number two. Boy he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order too. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Arias gathers but the throw is late so the inning will continue after the strikeout pitch gets away and not what he wanted to do there is now they'll need four outs to get out of this inning. Into the box now Geronimo Murillo. Hold is off of first with two away. And it's fouled away. Full count with two outs now. So if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. He's set. Here's the three and two. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. for ball four so that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Now batting left fielder Gerard. Now with the plate Pendergast. Jared Pendergast two men on two away here in the fourth. Three and one. 
three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. That's a big no no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. At the plate, Diego Velasmo, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Sammons takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 19, Eric Salmon. Ready once again, Stuart Lawson. He flew out in his last at bat. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Moving under it, Encarnacion, one down. Now batting, right fielder, Nelson Lopez. Digging in once again, Nelson Lopez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Three to one, our score as we play inning number five. And a great location that time on the corner three and two now some action out in the bullpen couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Now the three and two pitch. Now a little pop up off toward the third base side and this is taken in for the second out. Now batting designated hitter Alex. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Alex Biggs. Bases are empty here with two men out. Up around the face. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Number 57 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 57. Leading off the inning, Pete Encarnacion, and they'll need him to get something going here. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Hit to third. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Now batting, the designated hitter, Leroy Fowler. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Leroy Faust. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Popped him up. Mosley shading to his right. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batting, second baseman, Billy Sheldon. 
So digging in now, Billy Sheldon. Now the one and one pitch. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Duran is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Almanzo Alvarez takes now over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 54, Alonzo Alvarez. Digging in to try it again, Napoleon Stevens. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Ready on 1 and 2. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Off the bat, it was pretty clear right away that that hit was going to get him at least two bases. Yeah, Matt. Some people like to crow about homers and powering drives, but you have to like hits like this. A no-doubt double the second it left his bat. Like you said, the only question was whether the outfielders were going to be able to keep him at second, which they did. Into the box now, Greg Mosley. One and two now. Set and the one two pitch hit hard on the ground to the right and that's through into right field for a base hit and they'll put the brakes on at third runners at the corners with nobody out. Hey this has the makings of being a pretty big inning B row lead off double now a base hit and all of a sudden we're looking at first and third. Yeah sometimes you wake up you just get smacked in the mouth right here he's going to have to start executing pitches he cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here he's going to have damage on his hands. Standing in now, Martin Duran. One and two now as that one's fouled off. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Grounded up the first baseline. He's got it. And they'll nail him at the plate as he's tagged out. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. That could be a tough read for the runner at third because your first instinct is to take off for home on the ground ball. But when it's right at the corner infielder like that, it doesn't take a whole lot to nail you at the plate. In now, Tyler Hayward on the run. This one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely, so I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Two and two. Mosley on second. Duran is over at first with one away. Mine to the right side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets through, but eventually does get the third base. Stepping in now, Adrian Arias. Line toward right center. Catch made here in medium deep right center, and the runner's breaking from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And it's a four to one game. Boy, this one looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley. But he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. Into the box now. John Potter pitches high. The throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. So one run on three hits. No errors. And one man left on. 
Heart of the order, three, four, and five coming up. The South Division stars from the Southern League are on top, four to one. Your Sydney Rodriguez right. enters to now do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. South. Number 25, Sydney Rodriguez. Stepping into the box, Vernon Castro. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. The 3 1. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball, and it's full now in 3 and 2. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. Well, he's a youngster. You can see he's a little nervous out there. Some people call it butterflies, but to him it probably feels like pterodactyls are flying around in his gut. Going to be interesting to see if he can settle down here. Striding in, Jeff Ackerman he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. The 2 1 home. Strike two swinging. All right, all you're asking for as an offense is a chance. Well, your leadoff man has certainly done his part. He's gotten on base. You have to start clawing back into this game right now if you're going to find a way. The 2 2. Weak rounder back to the mound. To second for one, but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. Definitely a risky and aggressive play for the pitcher there, but he made it work out. They practice plays like that a lot in spring training, so it paid off this time. Striding into the box, Tim Fold. Throw over to first, and a dive, but he's back. Ackerman leads off first with one away. I don't think he's going to triple up on changeup right there. He seemed to have gotten the timing down on that second one. Now another 2-2. Two -two. He's running. Pitch outside the throw. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Good steal there, and I'll tell you, he is a multi-dimensional player out there. He's got good pop at the plate, and he showed he's not afraid to use his wheels on the bases either. To your point, Dan, he did go deep earlier, and now the stolen base here, so he's really having an impact on this game. Payoff pitch one more time. Hard on the ground towards short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Wow, this manager must be pulling his hair out. Not only does he have to deal with this pitcher walking people, now he's got to deal with his defense tripping all over themselves. Riding in once again, Geronimo Murillo. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Now in the box, Jared Pendergast. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. The 3 2 pitch. Bouncer up the middle. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over.
back here at SunTrust Park. Seventh inning straight ahead, but first let's take a look at the game summary for the first six innings of baseball. Philip Lorenz is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number four, Philip Lorenz. Manuel Herrera is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Herrera. Popped him up. And that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench, and he's aboard here to lead off the inning. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Man, that swing looked like self defense than a real quality swing, but hey, he muscled it out there and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Robert Zuniga will come off the bench now as he'll pinch hit with the runner at second and nobody out. Robert Zuniga. Rounded back up the middle. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You don't deal in a spot like that. That's an infield okay. single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Benito Zarate will get a chance to swing the bat here, and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. Well, this is speared by the first baseman. Now batting by designated hitter, Alex Berry. Tim Fedorovich will get the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. Herrera over at second. Zuniga at first, one gone. Skied into straightaway right. And Carnacion giving chase. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Phil Lopez. See what he can do off the bench as he'll bat with runners at the corners and two gone here. We're in the seventh now. Four to one our score to this point. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Manuel Herrera will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Robert Zuniga will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Benito Zurate will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Now Phil Lopez will 17, stay in the ball game Phil as he'll take over Lopez. at first base. You're Gabe Byrne gets the call from the now pen to take over 17, on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 16, Gabe Byrne. Leading off the inning, Diego Velasmil, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Diego Velasmil right, has retired for the first 30. out in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch, and he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. Standing in now, Pete Encarnacion. Still a ball and two strikes. When you have two strikes on you, as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. 
So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Keith Encarnacion becomes the second out of the bottom of the seven. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. He might have been sitting on an off speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face, he's obviously frustrated right now. But it's a long season. You're going to have a lot of ebbs and flows with your offense. Does he take a step back and relax a little bit, or does he call a team meeting right after this one? And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Well, he walked them on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Michael Nah will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. And we see a lefty and a right hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Here's the two one. This is on the ground over to first. And that's through for a hit. You know, D-Roll, there's been some great pitching in this one so far. After that knock, that's only the third hit of the game, and we'll get late into this one. Yeah, they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well, I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. they got to start to swing the bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. Anthony Epps takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Paul Cruz will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Bolero at second. Nah, on at first with two down. If I'm on the mound right now, I know I'm in the hitter's head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate it right here. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Michael Nah will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Michael Nah. Paul Cruz is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Ryan Stover has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ryan Stover. Leading off the inning, Greg Mosley, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Swinging a soft liner, and one gone. Now batting, center fielder, Martin Duran. Digging in, Martin Duran. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Into the box, Tyler Hayward. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning.
Mel Guillory will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. Mel Guillory. Lifted down the line in left. Mosley trying to get there, and that will end up a foul ball. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. Bo Capel will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Bo Capel. Now a curveball is in there. One and two now. Hey, let's not sugarcoat this. This is a huge half inning right here. They have to find a way to score a few runs. They do not want to face the closer. Needing three runs in the ninth. That means game over. And he fouls this one off. High in the air into shallow left center. Hayward onto the grass. He's got it, and there are two down now. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Jarrett Lustig enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Into the box now, Geronimo Murillo. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. The 1-1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Now, one and two. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Back here in the Atlanta metro area on MLB Network, set to go in the ninth from SunTrust Park. Mel Guillory will stay in the ballgame as he takes over in center. Mel Guillory. Bo Capel will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Raul Vina enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Striding in to start the ninth, Adrian Arias as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. The 1 1 home is swung on and missed for strike number two. And a swing and a miss at the curveball. A great pitch call there, and that's the first out here in the ninth. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you can spot your pitches there and advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. Richard Song will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Richard Song. Still one and two. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there, but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down, maybe even potentially bounce the next one. Hit back up the middle. Throw in time at first for route number two. The batter, number seven, second baseman, Robert Zuniga. Sean Cardona will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Sean 
Cardona. Down low, two balls and a strike. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The 2-1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Here now the 2-2. Is taken ball three. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Fouled away. A swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. And he won't risk the long throw across. He'll hang on to it. It's an infield single. All right fielder, number 30. Your Ronnie Becerra will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Ball two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three. And they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Here's a look over to first, and he'll dive back in safely. The 2 2. Soft liner out toward left center. That gets down, and the inning continues. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Cardona on second, Becerra at first, two out in the inning. Breaking ball misses here, and he falls behind now to three and one. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Three and two now. That's what you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. And he lays off. Ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Stepping in, Phil Lopez. Now the one and one pitch. Hit on the line, and this one's into center field. That's a base hit. One run scores. And the run is in to score from second. It's 6-1. to one. Dan, from a pitcher's standpoint, that's a backbreaker. Two out, two RBI base hit right there. Awfully frustrating. You're trying to make some good pitches, get two outs, and all of a sudden give up that big base hit that drives in two. Frustrating for a pitcher. A ball and two strikes now. Two down, runners at first and second. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. 
bottom part of the order seven eight and nine due up in the bottom of inning number nine the South Division stars from the Southern League lead it six to one. Richard Song will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Richard Song. Sean Cardona will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Ronnie Becerra will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Leading off the inning, Jared Pendergast, and they'll need him to get something going here. The 2 1 home is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch down the first baseline. Here's another 2 2. Still even at 2 and 2. Here now the 2 2. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. In now, Diego Velasmo. Ah, oh, he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. We'll try again, one, two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Duran sprinting after it. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Right fielder. in front of the Now at the plate, Pete Encarnacion. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Two out, nobody on. And this is in the air to right. And this should do it. Becerra is there. Makes the catch and the ball game is over. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. And tonight's comes to a conclusion. Six to one, the final. The Southern Division All-Stars took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Dan Halter earns the victory on the mound. So that's a wrap here tonight. Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Matt Vaskersian, we're all thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. Six runs on 13 hits, one error, and 11 runners left on base. For the North Division of the Southern League, one run on three hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and one minute. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of SunTrust Park, we'd like to thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you.